Thanks for coming. Uh, so uh, we just wanted to ask, and it's totally cool. There's no issue. The uh, um, the tiger. Um, and we were just wondering if he'll be locked up. Yeah, will the tiger be locked up for the whole time? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we never let him out with kids around. Not even our own. It doesn't kill to ask about unlocked guns in the house. Guns are now the leading cause of death for kids. <laughs> okay, so this this crazy advertisement, this was played on a local New York station, and it was sponsored by Northwell Health. They are doing an anti-gun an anti-gun um, initiative here. This was actually, this was a commercial that was run on the show Monarch. I don't know if you guys have seen that. And I don't know. I mean, I think this is hilarious. It's a stupid ad. Like, what do they expect? Do you have to go and feed your gun 50 pounds of meat every day? What are you going to do if there's like, if the government's acting tyrannically, you're just going to trot out your herd of tigers to defend yourselves against the government? <laughs> I Imagine being so stupid that you would compare a living wild animal to a firearm. Not exactly the same thing. Not even close to the same thing. The comparison is so asinine because here's the thing, a tiger operates itself. A tiger is a living creature. A tiger will attack you if you get in its way. A tiger will attack you if you are in the same room as it. A tiger will attack you for no reason at all. A firearm doesn't do that. A firearm sits in its safe. It's an inanimate object. It's not alive. It does nothing unless a person operates it. So to compare a firearm to a tiger is, it's not only stupid, it's not only shows that these people are stupid. Another example, by the way, of the crisis in our healthcare system, a healthcare organization is advertising this. It also shows that the left thinks that you are stupid, that you would fall for this. They despise our Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. Our Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms is critical to our defense of freedom. It is critical for the government to know that the people hold the power. The government does not.